little girl. You, uh, are you lost or something? I don't want to die. First off, big apology for taking so long before doing this new video. October is an eventful month for horror fans, and I have had several big things going on this month, including a film festival, arranging a Halloween party, and doing my regular monthly film screening for my local film club. Things should be calming down now though, so expect more stuff coming regularly again from now on. I hope. So today I will be talking about a Joe Dante movie. The Hole is a movie from 2009 directed by none other than Joe Dante himself. The story here revolves around the Thompson family, consisting of Susan and her two sons who are moving from Brooklyn to a new and more quiet life in a small town. Soon after the family has moved in, the two boys come across a trapdoor, leading to a seemingly never-ending hole down in the ground. Soon after they open the hole, weird stuff starts to happen around them. And together with the cute neighbor girl, Julie, they start to investigate what the hell is going on at their house and what might be actually have taken residence in the hole. I don't know why, but I don't think I remember reading anything about the hole when it was first released nearly 10 years ago. It was made on a production budget of 12 million dollars, and even with the help of positive reviews, it did not make back its money on its theatrical run. After its release, I guess it has already been kind of forgotten, and that's a damn shame. The Hole is a family-friendly horror film that we don't see anymore these days. It is rare that we get horror films that are targeting young teenagers anymore, like some classics they used to do back in the 1980s. Although I haven't seen it, I guess the success of Goosebumps might help bring out a few more of these to the young, aspiring horror fans that are growing up out there. It sucks that the whole didn't do that well, as this could have kickstarted this back in 2009, because this film has much to offer. For someone like me who grew up in the 80s, watching such a heartfelt film with great teenage characters that have other things going on than just being dickheads and having sex with each other, a movie like this easily gets me on the nostalgic factor. And it is not only good acting that makes these characters come to life. You can feel that these are characters by Joe Dante, as this is something he's great at creating. I especially enjoyed the performance of Haley Bennett as the next door neighbor, Julie. Not only is she a gorgeous girl, but there is so much charm to both her and the way her character is written, and they should be commended for that instead of just making her into a hot blonde teenage chick. Even the main teen guy, Dane, played by Chris Masuglia, works quite well here, and his character is a typical angst-filled, borderline emo teenager who usually brings a movie down in my opinion. I guess the key is that these aren't cliches, but rather comes across as fleshed out characters with more than one side to them. The story of the film is very simple, and does remind me of another horror film for the younger crowd that I loved in my early teenage years, called The Gate. This would actually make a pretty cool double bill with that one when I think about it. They are similar in that kids find a hole or gate with evil within it, and of course they excellently unleash it. The evil in both movies also feed on the fear of the children, and tries to get the best out of them by making them face their fears. Both times they have to rely on each other, as the grown-ups are not able to help them out. The downside of this film is that the evil threat doesn't seem menacing enough. It's a bit too safe in the scares department, so while a movie like to mention, The Gate has a few scenes that will creep out kids, the whole doesn't have enough of that to offer. Instead it tries to go for the more emotional factor, which only worked at times for me. The final act also lost me a bit as the tone shifts and gets too serious and lacks the same type of playful fun that the rest of the movie has. I'm not sure if a movie like The Hole has a place in today's market, which is a sad thing as this is a fun movie that more people should have been able to enjoy upon release. Perhaps we will look back at it in the future and consider it to be an underrated hidden gem. I was highly entertained and surprised by the depths of the characters and the heart of the movie. It is not perfect, and there are some stuff in it that I didn't care all that much for, but even so, I'm giving it a 4 out of 5. Want to get your kids into horror at an early age, then this movie should be interesting to you. Now hopefully I'm not the only one out there that enjoyed the whole, and I'm curious to hear what others out there thought to this film. 
and any other horror films from the last few years that aim more towards the younger crowd that are worth checking out? Let me know in the comment section below and as always, subscribe for more horror reviews coming frequently to this channel. Thank you and keep your holes locked up at night. Okay.